What's going on, BK? This is Pastor Dex. Hope you've been having a wonderful, awesome, spectacular week thus far. Uh, this video is a follow-up from this past Sunday where I preached a message entitled Pulling Down Strongholds. And that message must have resounded because almost the entire congregation walked up to the front during the altar call and said that they wanted to pull down the strongholds in their lives, uh, that they wanted to fight the sin and the weights which so easily beset them. And I promised that I would place on the website some information in regards to how to deal with the sin and the strongholds that are in our lives. And I have come through on my part of that promise. And now on the bk.org website, if you're on our site now, you can look right below. There are scriptures to help you with this process of pulling down the strongholds in your life. I want you to think about a crucial moment in Jesus's life uh, when he was just beginning his ministry. The book of Matthew and some of the other gospels allude to um, Jesus being led by the Spirit of God into the wilderness. And he was hungry because he hadn't eaten in like 40 days because he was fasting. And the Bible says that Satan appeared to Jesus and began to tempt him and try to attempt to get him to sin. And every time Jesus was tempted, he responded with the word of God. He responded with Old Testament scripture. You need to know that one of the greatest weapons of your warfare is scripture, the word of God, what God has said concerning you, and what God has said concerning the promises he has for you, and what God has commanded in terms of your lives and how you should live your lives. One of the greatest weapons that we have is scripture. So I want you to commit to memorizing scripture, to take the scriptures that are below and to really embed them in your heart, to take time to meditate upon them, to spend time thinking about, reflecting on the scriptures that are on this list. The scriptures below are designed to do three things. One, the first set of scriptures are designed for you to understand what it means for us to be sinful creatures. That simply means that we all have issues, we all have problems, we've all lied, we've all cheated, we've all lusted in our heart before. These are common to mankind. Everyone from your pastor, all the way down to the people in the pews have issues. We all have sin. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But the second uh, phase of scriptures listed below or on the BK website talk about what Christ has done to help us deal with our sin. We believe that Jesus Christ lived on this earth. He was born of a virgin. He was both human and and divine. And while he was on this earth, he was crucified for the sins of the world. But the beautiful thing about his crucifixion was that he died, but he did not stay in the grave, but he got up again with all power in his hands. And before he ascended up into heaven, he, uh, he, he ushered in the era of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit lives and resides within us and empowers us to live a life that is pleasing to God. We are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ um, death, eternal death is no longer our penalty, but because of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, we're covered by the blood and we have life and we have life eternal and we can live life on this earth more abundantly. So you need to know what Jesus Christ has done to deal with the sin issue. And then you need to know the tools that Jesus has given us uh, to deal with the sin in our lives. And there are a lot of scriptures that talk about forgiveness, how to ask for forgiveness, uh, there are scriptures that talk about fleeing from the devil, fleeing from temptation, dealing with issues like sexual purity and how to stay pure and how to live lowly, uh, how to how to live holy um, in concern to your body. So these are all important scriptures for you to know, for you to think about, and for you to meditate upon, so that you can pull down the strongholds in your life. Like they used to say in the boxing matches, do walk to the middle of the ring. This is the announcer dude with the bow tie and he pulled down that microphone and he said, let's get ready to rumble. So for those of you who are tired of being knocked down by your sin, who are tired of waking up uh, feeling guilty based on what you've done in your life, you need to know that scripture is your greatest weapon of warfare. For our weapons are not carnal, but they are mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. So please take time to visit the scriptures below, or if you're watching this from Facebook, go to bk.org and you'll see a link on the site uh, to those scriptures entitled Pulling Down Strongholds. I love you guys tremendously. I hope you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you this Sunday. Peace and blessings and pull down the strongholds in your life. Peace.